you on this morning, God. And we decree all things done. In Jesus' name we pray. And we say amen.
pray to God, my sister praying, come to tell you our ways are given. I ask that you please don't forget the pastor. Pray to God, don't forget that today is pastoral day. Glory to God. And she's going to come up and tell you all the ways that you can give to the ministry. Whether you in-house or whether you, you and us, praise God, by social media this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. I tell you, praise God, it's a blessing to give. I have so many testimonies about what God has done for me through my giving. Hallelujah. I tell you, it's a blessing to give unto God. Hallelujah. And a lot of times people say that blessings come through money, but it can come in all forms, and it can come all kind of ways. Hallelujah. Praise God. And I ask for you, when you give this morning, when you give, put a declaration on it. Tell God what you want him to do. Not with your tithes, but with your offering, because the tithe is due to him. But when you offer, and you give an offering to him, tell God what you would like him to do. Because the word tells us that give, and it shall be given unto you, praise God. Shake it together, run it over, praise God. And that man will give it to your bosom, praise God. You can give it today, and somebody can give it back to you. Praise God in the next 30 minutes. So be a blessing to God. Be a blessing to the world of God. Be a blessing to the ministry. At this time, praise God, we better have this queen come up and she's going to tell you the different ways that you can minister unto God in your gift. Praise God. For the ways of giving, you can give me a cash app and that's dollar sign like 4701. Again, that's dollar sign like 4701. You can also give via PayPal. That's www.paypal.me forward slash L-O-T-W church. And you can also give via Tithe. That's T-I-T-H-E dot L-Y. You can also mail in your ministry and give it to 4701 North 15th Street, Tampa, Florida 33610. As well as for our PO Box. And that's PO Box 75782.
again at this time, please have a good hearing and announcement. Glory to God. At this time, we're going to have our announcements, praise God. And I'm also asking for those that are going to this conference, praise God, how many families are going to be today, please. For all of those that are going to this conference, I need your mind to pray, please. Glory to God, she's going to give you the request of the announcement. Our announcement on um, May 23rd, we will be having the pastoral installation service for Pastor Corey Jackson and co-pastor Vanessa Jackson. That's going to be in West Palm Beach at 3 p.m. None of the rural <clears throat> temple will be attending, and those that would like to go, we have the EC assistant, uh, Pastor Brandon Assessments, to book your room. Also, September 3rd through September 5th, uh, Pastor Timothy Brown will be in revival at Jesus Church of Deliverance International in Macon, Georgia, with Apostle Milton Morgan. Also, a lot of the world will be attending, and Pastor Brown is asking for the praise team to attend. Those who want to put go, please again get with us, assistant uh, evangelist uh, Jackson, to book your room. A lot of the world will be closed that Sunday morning. Uh, also keep in mind we are still uh, going to be putting a uh, fun day for the 4th of July with the church. We're asking all members to attend. Uh, the place again will be announced. Um, so keep that in mind. And as for our regular services, um, we do have our midweek banner on Wednesday at 7 p.m. via Facebook and our YouTube channel, which is Church INC and our YouTube is L O T W C space INC. As well, we have our Sunday school at 9 a.m. via Zoom and our Sunday Sunday morning worship at 11 a.m. You can tune in to the Sunday morning worship on Facebook or YouTube, as well as you can come into the house of the Lord to also attend uh, services. Our YouTube, sorry, our Zoom will be our meeting password and link is on our Facebook page if you would like to attend our Sunday school via Zoom. We also have our prayer line on Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays. The number is 951-981-7249. Again, that's 951-981-7249, and that's from 727 to 8 p.m. And that is all that I have for the announcements at this time. Praise the Lord, glory to God. Just to add to that announcement, Let's not forget, praise God, starting the first Wednesday of June, we will be back in the sanctuary, glory to God, for Bible study. So the uh, first week of June, we will be back in the sanctuary uh, for Bible study. Also on June the 25th, June the 25th, I'll be at New Life Restoration, praise God, in a women's conference, and I am asking that the praise team will uh, assist me at that time. That'll be June 25th, it's on a Friday night at 7.30 p.m. Uh, New Life Restoration Church uh, will be one of the women's conference, and I'll be one of their speakers. Glory to God, and I'll be that's all the announcements that we have at this time. Another thing that I want to mention as well, praise God, hallelujah, is uh, with the, uh, the, the outdoor fund that we plan to have on July um, 4th, 4th, it'll be the 30th, it'll be the 7th, I think, I don't know what day July 4th. But it's going to be that Saturday. Um, we are asking that you please give us your ideas of what you would like to do. We uh, do have a title now where it will be more, praise God, a beach play. And we have been to this place before. It's just that I have to go see if it's available for us. Um, glory to God. So I'm doing that on this week. So I'll let you know exactly where we are going to be. But we want everyone to participate because we don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on food and nobody shows up and nobody comes. So we plan to have a great time. We plan to have activities. Um, like I say, uh, it is a beach setting, so the kids are here, you know, this winter, so I don't want to see it, you know, going to God. Hallelujah. So we plan to have a good time. And then for this week, 
So the Northwest Carolina said that yes, if you have any idea or any suggestions that we can do, please let me or Pastor Brown know and we can get it all together. So also uh, praise God if you have any idea. Um, uh, see uh, First Lady Brown and she relay that to us and we can get together and just put everything together. We plan to have a good time. At this time, praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm going to bring the woman of God, but praise God. Hallelujah. And she's going to bless us this morning. Our own praise God. The next lady, praise God. Come and join us. Praise God. We thank God for her. We thank God for her standing by the apostle. Praise God. We appreciate her. Praise God so much. Hallelujah. We don't always say it, praise God, but I just want to let her know that we do appreciate her and the things that she do. Praise God, hallelujah, and especially for standing by the name of God. Amen. Amen. At this time, she's going to come to you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And the next voice that you will hear after hers, praise God, will be none other than our own praise God. Praise God, Pastor, not other than Elder Timothy Brown. Why don't you put your hand together for the man of God? Because he's going to come right behind her. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's all y'all got? Praise God. Come on, let's put your hand together for the man of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank God. Praise God. Pastor. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless God for who he is, for what he's done, for what he shall do. But we realize we cannot make it without him. I'm just so thankful this morning. And I'm going to just do a little bit of this. You can't pick me up, I can do a cappella. I hear praise from the inside.
in those times, amen, that we lean and we trust on God. Can I get a witness? Amen. It's in those out-season times, the days that we just don't feel like it, amen, we still got to press on. Can I get a witness? Amen. The body is tired. The mind is tired. Can I get a witness in here? The spirit is tired, but how many know you got to press on? Can I get a witness in the house? Amen. If we don't press on, amen, if we don't go through, amen, we can't reach the promised land. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. If we fold up and quit, can I get a, some help in this house? If we fold up and quit, amen, we can't get what God has in store, amen, from us. Amen. If God began to deal with me, came out this morning, how many know? Amen. You desire to do something else, but God, amen, tells you to do otherwise. Can I get a witness? I don't know, amen. <clears throat> amen. If you ever been like that, amen. God instruct you to do something, it don't feel good. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. We instruct you, amen, to say what thus says the Lord. I mean, you know, sometimes that thing hit hard. Amen. It's, it's, it's the word of God said, it's bitter going down, but it's sweet. Amen. To the belly. Can I get some help in here? And so, amen. We're not shaking. Can I get some help? We're not going to quit. But how many know God knows everything? God knows, amen, who is going to be and who is not going to be. And I get a witness in this house. So with daily, amen, in a day and a time that you truly have to trust God. Can I get a witness in here? You truly, amen, have to lean and depend on God. Your relationship with God, amen, will be tried in the fight. Can I get a witness in here? Your relationship with God. Somebody say your relationship with God. It is sad, amen, that if we are in the house of the Lord and we don't have a relationship with him. Can I get a witness in here? And as the preacher was saying on this week, amen, we can see, amen, by how things are going on that people really don't have a relationship with God. Y'all ain't talking to me. And when you say, well, how do you know that, Pastor? How do you know, amen, that they don't have a relationship? Well, the Word of God says a tree is known by what? The fruit, amen, that it bears. Can I get some help in here? And so if we don't see the fruit, then we know, amen, there's something wrong with the tree. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. If we, 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 we see, amen, it is easy to testify on the mountaintop. It is easy to rejoice when things are going well. It's easy to shout. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. When your bank account, amen, is full. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you. It is easy, amen, to rejoice when things are going well. Y'all got to talk to me this morning. Amen. It is easy, amen, uh, to smile. Can I get a witness in here? When things are well. But when things are bad, uh, can we get a smile? When, when things uh, doesn't seem, amen, to go as we planned them to go, amen, can we still, amen, say hallelujah? Right. Can we still say thank you, Jesus? Uh, thank you, Jesus, and hallelujah has to be down on the inside. Y'all ain't saying nothing because there comes a time, 
when you don't feel like saying anything. Come on. There comes a time when you don't feel like pressing forward, but something down on the inside pushes you forward. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Something down on the inside causes you, amen, to do what you, amen, and normally would not do. Amen. And normally, amen, if, if we follow our mind, amen, we wouldn't be here right now. Why? Because we're tired. Can I get some help in here? We're pressed in our mind. We're pressed in our spirit. But yet, amen, we lean and depend on God. And this is where, amen, David began to say, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. Can I get some help in here? David found out, amen, just who God is. And in your life, amen, you're going to find out, amen, who God is. Why? Because it is through, amen, your trouble. It is through your, your, your pain. Come on. It is through, amen, you walking through your wilderness. There's nobody there with you. Come on. The evangelist, the pastor, the elder, the deacon, amen, the prophet, the prophetess is not there, amen, when you're walking, amen, through your own wilderness and through your own problems. This is why it is necessary, amen, for you to have a relationship with God. Amen. And you, you, people get offended. Come on, prophetess. People get offended when you tell them they need a relationship with God. Can I get some help in here? Uh, God, amen, himself came from heaven. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. In the form of Jesus Christ, amen. And he died on the cross for our sins. And the reason why he died, he died, amen, that we may have life. And the word of God said, amen, that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Somebody say more abundantly. And so in that abundant life, amen, there are days, amen, where we don't feel, amen, our best. But how many know God, amen, will give us the strength, amen, to go through. God will give us the strength, amen, to keep raising our hands. God will give us the strength, amen, to think right. Y'all ain't saying nothing. God will touch, amen, the, the, the fibers of our mind and it cause us, amen, to be sober minded. Y'all ain't saying nothing in here. There is some people, amen, when they go through problems, they are not sober minded. Uh, they think erratically, but it the power of God that we uh, rely on. Why? Because if we rely on our own strength, if we rely on our own mind, if we rely on how we feel, amen, we wouldn't deal with nobody. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Why? Because people, amen, act funny. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Uh, people, amen, treat you funny. You can go out in the grocery store and, and people are, amen, you say good morning, they say what's good about it. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. And so, amen, See in this world, amen, this world, amen, is in turmoil. This world, amen, is in the valley of decision. Some, amen, don't uh, want to get the vaccine, and some say they're not going to get the vaccine, and some say this, and some say that. But in the word of God tells us uh, that we can put our trust in God. Come on. And not lean to the arms of man. And so we're going to deal with this morning about the will of God. Somebody say the will of God. Amen. And look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, the safest place, amen, is in the will of God. Come on, say it one more time. The safest place, amen, is in the will of God. Somebody say the will of God. Say it one more time, the will of God. So, amen, as we begin to, God begin to deal with us, I begin to say, God, you know, I, you know, I don't feel like that. But God said, no, this is what I need you to say. Somebody need to hear my will. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. You know, sometimes we think we obeying God and we're not obeying him. Come on. We don't do it the way God said do it. We, amen, God has given us a commission. Y'all ain't saying Amen. To walk, amen, according to his statutes. 
amen, then we got to do it the way God say do it. We got to do it the way God say do it. It don't feel good all the time. Come on. It, it, it don't feel good. You know, the word God said, God ways is not our ways. And his thoughts is not our thoughts. And so in my little pea brain, I would say, God, do I really have to preach on this this morning? And he began to say, yes, you do. Amen. Because I have permission. You see, when you are commissioned by God, you're not your own. Can I get some help in here? Paul began to talk about this thing and say, I'm a prisoner of God. When you are a prisoner, you don't have no rights. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Everything, amen, when you are a prisoner, you are confound, amen, speaking naturally, so you are confound by the four walls. Come on. You are confound by the statues of the prison. You are confound, amen, by the guards and the warden and the bar you are behind. Can I get some help from here? And so Paul began to make the analogy to saying that I am a prisoner of God. Yes, I have my own rights. Yes, I have my own mind, but yet I find myself, amen, as a prisoner of God. And when you are a prisoner of God, you have to obey amen God. Come on. You can't amen be amen like Burger King had it your way. Come on. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Yeah, no, no, no. You're not a prisoner of God then. So, amen. Doing the will of God is not so easy sometimes. Doing the will of God, amen, you will walk alone sometimes. So, we're going to look at a man, amen, on this morning that decided, amen, to do his own thing. Can I get some evidence? Turn with me, amen, to Jonah, amen, the first chapter. Somebody say the first chapter of Jonah, amen. We're going to, this story, amen, is long. We're not going to read the entire story this morning, amen, but we are, amen, you can follow me, amen, starting at the first verse, Jonah, the first chapter, and the first verse. Amen. Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah. Son of Anamite saying, Arise. Here's the commandment. Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it. Somebody say cry against it. For their wickedness is come up before me. But Jonah, here is, amen, here where Jonah, amen, got in trouble. Amen. But Jonah rose up to flee to Tarsha from the presence of the Lord. How many know you can't flee from God's presence? And went down to Joppa and found a ship going to Tarsha. And so he paid the fare thereof and went down into it to go with them unto Tarsha from the presence of the Lord. Somebody say from the presence of God. How many know when you flee, amen, from the presence of God, amen, hallelujah, you find yourself in trouble. Come on. Uh, it is wonder why, amen, God. Amen. My work, and it was. Good. 
his grace and his mercy, no matter if you clubbed all night, God still, amen, allowed you to get up in the morning. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Whether you, amen, prayed, oh man, at night, or whether you gave God what's due to him, he still allowed you, amen, to get up this morning. Can I get some help in here? He still allowed you, amen, every day of the week, amen, to go and, and, and make a living, as we may say. Amen. He allowed, amen, your mind to work. He allowed, amen, the thoughts of, of, of wisdom to come, amen, to you, to even, amen, do your job. But once, amen, sometimes we don't give God the credit that's due to him. We don't give God, amen, what he is qualified, what he is qualifying us to do. Can I get some help in here? And the thing about it is this morning, amen, we cannot flee, amen, from God. Can I get some help in here? Uh, we wonder, amen, why things are going uh, so bad in our life, amen, can I get some help in here? Uh, why we have to struggle, amen, like we struggle. Why? It's because something is not lined up with God as he desired it to be. Can I get some help in this house? And so, here is a man, amen, that was given, amen, a commandment. When I look at the world today, amen, when I look at the house of the Lord, amen, it is sad, amen, can I get some help in here? God has given us a commandment to worship him, y'all ain't saying nothing, in spirit and in truth, but we find, amen, that our neighbors and our friends are not here. We find, amen, when we look, amen, around. Amen. The house of the Lord is empty. Can I get some help in here? But it is God who said, Amen, you shall find me in my house. It wasn't the preacher. It wasn't the evangelist. The God said, my house, amen, shall be called the house of prayer. A place designated, amen, to reach God. A place designated, amen, to you come uh, and reach heaven. Can I get some help in here? Yes, amen, we have altars in our home. Yes, amen, we kneel down and we worship God wherever. But how many know the house of God has always, amen, been the place to meet God? Amen, we can see throughout the hands of time, amen, the houses of God were built, amen, amen, in the north, amen, amen, in Jerusalem. Everybody traveled, amen, to the house of God. Amen. What the house of God is representing, amen, in this day and time. And what God began to deal with me, my people have forgotten, amen, my will. Y'all ain't saying nothing. My will is, is, it is the desire of God, amen, that we worship him. Come on. It is the desire of God that we dwell together in unity. Come on. It is the desire of God, amen, that we overcome the word of God. So, amen, it is the job of the enemy to destroy the midst. Come on. It is the job of the enemy to destroy uh, the unification of the church. Can I get some help in here? And so here, amen, we're going to learn what happens when we walk out of the will of God. Somebody say, walking out God's will. And so, 
amen, a commandment was given, amen, to Jonah to go to Nineveh. Nineveh was a wicked place. Nineveh was a place, amen, that uh, they didn't care who you were. When you came there, amen, they robbed and they killed and they stealed. Can I get some help in here? So, amen, Jonah was afraid, amen, to go to Nineveh. Can I get some help in here? He was afraid, amen. You cannot be afraid in this time to do what God has commanded you to do. Can I get some help in here? You cannot, amen, yet, amen, those things are happening in this world, but God has not given us the spirit of fear. Can I talk to you? God has not given us, amen, the spirit, amen, to turn our backs on him. Somebody, amen, may have turned their back on God this morning uh, because they may have lost a loved one. They may have lost a mother, a father, a sister, a brother, a uncle, a cousin. Can I get some help in here due to the pandemic? But God, amen, is still God. It does not, amen, diminish the power of God that who he is if a loved one died. Can I get some help in here? God is still God. He can even raise the dead. But it is God's will, amen, that things happen on this earth. And so, amen, here it is, amen, Jonah, amen, being afraid, decides to alter the plan and the will of God. When you alter the plan and the will of God, in trouble. Why? Because it's his will. Y'all ain't saying nothing. It's, it's his will. And, and if it's his will and he, he created you, how dare you alter the will of God? How dare you, amen, tell God that you're not going to do what he commanded you to do? Can I get some help in here? And so Jonah, amen, decided, well, I'm going to go in the opposite direction. I'm going to go to Tasha and I'm and get on this ship, and I'm going to uh, be in my own, amen, uh, space, and nobody going to enter my space. The bird of God said he went to the bottom of the ship, amen, when nobody was at, and, and he fell asleep. Can I get some help in here? I don't care where you go in the four corners of this earth. You can go to the deepest well. Can I get some help in here? You can go, amen, down to the center of the earth, and God still can find you. And so, Jonah, amen, as we look at the scripture, and the word of God said, God, in verse, amen, four, and the Lord sent a wind in the sea. Can I talk to you? We wonder why things happen in our life. Why, you know, things, have you ever, had something that happened in your life and it, it, it seems un, unordinary. It seems that uh, this is unordinary. This, this is unusual. Can I get some help in here? Okay. You know, it is unusual that this is happening. Why, why things seem to happen one after the other? Can I get some help in here? It may not be you this morning, but God is talking to somebody. Can I get some help in here? And so, amen. God sent, listen at the scripture, but the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea. And there was a mighty tempest in the sea, so that the ship was like it was broken. And the mariners were afraid and, and cried every man on his God. How I many know when you get in trouble, you're going to call on God? Ain't nobody got to beg you to call on him. Ain't nobody got to force you to clap your hands. Come on. Ain't nobody got to sit and lift your hands and worship him. Ain't nobody going to be around. And, you gonna, and your spirit going to break and you're going to worship God. Can I get some help in here? Amen. So, amen, the mariners were free and cried unto the Lord and cast their wares that were on the ship into the sea and to lighten, amen, the ship. But Jonah was going down in the sides of the ship and he lay and was fast asleep. And so the shipmaster came unto him, what means thou, O sleeper? 
And so, amen, the shipmaster, the captain of the ship, amen, found Jonah, amen, on the ship, at the bottom of the ship, amen, and he, he began to ask him the question, what, what, what is this? In other words, what are you doing? Everybody up here trying to stay alive. Everybody up here, amen, trying to survive. And here you are, amen, down in the bottom of the ship, amen, asleep. Come on. Amen. Isn't it amazing, amen, that Jonah, amen, found himself in the bottom of the ship, amen, uh, asleep? Now, look at this. He knew who God was. He knew the power of God. So how is it that he can go in somewhere and think that God can him and then go to sleep. How comfortable, amen, can you be by not doing God's will? We got to ask ourselves the question, how comfortable can you be, amen, from being out of the house of God? How comfortable, amen, can you be not living for him? How comfortable, amen, can you be? And so it lets me understand that Jonah, amen, was out of his mind. Can I get some help in here? You have to be out of your mind to think you can run from God. You got to be out of your mind to think, amen, that you, amen, cannot be chasing by God. Can I get some help in here? And so, amen, as we look at the word of God, amen, he began to ask Jonah, listen, I need you to get up and call on your God. Now, look at somebody and say, get up and call. And so if, so that God would think upon us that we should perish. And the word of God said, uh, and they began to cast lots, amen, in verse 7. Can I get some help in here? And so, amen, they begin to say, amen, what occupation? They begin to ask Jonah, where you come from? Come on. Amen. Uh, or what, what is your occupation? Why are you here? And so Can I talk to you? And sometimes, amen, you can be amongst people and you're not supposed to be there. And they are beginning to ask you, why are you here? Come on. You don't belong here. They may be the devil themselves. Come on. They may have, amen, the wrong spirit. I don't know the inside. But something, amen, the devil knows who you are. Come on. Just as God knows, the devil knows. Can I talk to you? And so, amen, they begin to ask Listen, where you come from? What is your occupation? And so Jonah began to answer. Jonah told on himself. He said, I'm a Hebrew. Come on. I'm, I'm of God. Can I talk to you? And so, and listen in verse 9, he said unto them, I am a Hebrew. And I fear the Lord. He told on himself. I fear the Lord and God of the heaven, which made the sea and the dry land. Now Jonah began to confess that God made the sea. God made the dry land. But how can he hide from God? Come on. And so as we look at the word of God, uh, he began to tell on himself. And, and as we go down, amen, in the scripture, uh, they begin to say, well, we don't want, amen, your death on our conscience. And they begin to talk a little bit longer. How many know this time they stop talking? It's time to stop running here and there, but it's time to live for God. Can I get some help in here? It's time for you to run from running city to city. Come on. It's time for you from running corner to corner and live for God. Come on. God is talking to somebody. It's time for you, amen, to do what God has commanded you to do. And so, amen, here, amen, and they begin, hey, listen, and verse 13 says, nevertheless, the men roll hard and bring it to land. They tried to go to land, but, but how many know when God, amen, stop your plan, you can't do like you want to do. Can I, can I get some help in here? And so, the word of God said, nevertheless, the men rolled hard, amen, to the land, but they could not, for the sea wrought, and the tempest of the sea was against them. And it came, amen, to the final decision, and this is where we are today, you got to come to the final decision, amen, listen, I got to do what God say do.
And so, amen, Jonah, amen, he knew what it was all about. <laughs> and you know what it's all about. Nobody got to tell you anything. <laughs> Nobody got to tell you why things are happening in your life. Uh, you know what you got to do. Come on. You know what you're supposed to be. You know how you're supposed to lift your hands. Uh, you know you was created to worship him. You know, amen, you, you was created, amen, to live for him. You were created, amen, in his image. You know all of that. Amen. And so, amen, John said, listen here. I uh, Somebody told you about 
to your feet and look at somebody and say, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all the done for me, you ought to grab your neighbor by the hand and say, Got you. 
lives. And God don't touch your own mind. He don't touch your own mind that you don't understand him. The more and the more God begins to deal with you, the comfortable you're going to get in his spirit. Everybody ministers a different way. Thank you. 
and disobeyed God, it changed the natural course of life itself. And when you choose not to do what God said do, you change the course of life itself for you. And then it affects everybody around you. It affects everyone around you. Glory to God. So, we bless God for his word. Not my word, his word. Bishop Cortez. Remember my words. God said you got to make a choice. You got to make a choice. And the prophetic anointing that's on your life calls you not to be in the crowd that you think you need to be in. Should you? Yes, sir. So you got to make a choice. Facebook that are going, amen, please pay your room, 
Amen. So we need that done. Today is possible. Amen. Today is possible. Amen. And that can be out of the way, done with. Amen. And we will be in West Palm Beach next Sunday. Where we are, we'll be each other. Amen. And let the world be too. Amen. For the installation service at 3 p.m. Amen. 3 p.m. <coughs> and so we look for God. Amen. To bless us. Amen. And for God to move by His Spirit, I in the world will not be open on next week. <coughs> Sunday, we will not be here. <coughs> so those that remain, stay in prayer. Amen. Free to visit. Stay in prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm not sure if they may have the service live there or not. Someone probably will. Amen. As you can see, it is a separation service live. <clears throat> so we bless God. Amen. For everyone. We appreciate everyone. Amen. All that you do, all that the pressing that you do, your support. Amen. That you give financially. Amen. We honor you on today. Amen. <clears throat> Glory to God. And one day, somebody say one day. One day. We'll be all together again. Amen. Amen. We'll be all together again in the house of the Lord. And so with that, we all. Amen. Let us remember our announcements. We thank everyone that came out to the, uh, the church anniversary service. We got some things lined up. Amen. Amen. Some services that we're going to get set up. Amen. And we're going to keep moving. So I said keep moving. All right. So that we all, we're standing. We're standing. We're standing. We're standing. Father, in the precious name of Jesus, God, we thank you. We glorify your name. We give your name the praise. We give your name the glory. We give your name the honor. God, it's time to look on us. Have your way. Direct us that you will be done in our life. Let us follow your will according to your riches and glory, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.